From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flynn, your weather authority. Hey, good evening to you. That's a live look right now. Uh, you still see a water droplet there on the lens and still kind of a shake uh, to the camera because it's been kind of blustery. You've got that windswept rain. We've had some thunder and lightning move through. Uh, 50 degrees was through 5 o'clock. Technically, the high temperature 52 and 14 one hundredths recorded at the uh, airport through 5 o'clock. Still have a few scattered showers kind of traipsing through here as we head through the late night hours here, but this is in a much weakened state compared to what they were out across Ohio. Where we had severe weather with uh, tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, thankfully, that activity weakened by the time it got here. Pretty stable around here, 48. Temperatures pretty close, 48 at the pier. Uh, McCain, 46 right now in Edinburgh. Mid to low 40s in Greenfield, 47 in French Creek, 46 in Cory and Union City. Uh, off to the east into Warren County, reports of some power outages even. Youngsville had a wind gust to 55 miles an hour. 44 right now, Chandler's Valley. 46, Cambridge Springs. And doing a 48 right now into Meadville. So we've got this big dip at the jet stream level. And whenever we see like almost a, what we call meridional flow, uh, you, you know that uh, there's going to be some nasty weather. We've certainly had that down across the Deep South, up into Ohio. This trough at the jet stream level will shift its way to the east as we head into the weekend. So that's going to mean some colder air for us. Look at that spin there. When we talk about energy in the atmosphere, we talk about spin. So the storm was pretty potent and it did have some nasty weather. Again, across Ohio, you can see that line weakening as it works its way to the east. Still have some leftover rain showers out there through this evening and still uh, a little gusty. But the storm reports, obviously we've heard about the tornadoes down across the deep south. Not completely unusual this time of the year. You know, we do have a little kind of hot spot for severe weather. Dixie Alley, that tornado right there. New Orleans, F3. Very unusual to get a tornado of that magnitude that close to the water and in a metro, no less. Uh, but certainly a swarm of tornadoes down to the south. This whole complex lifting its way through, but I think we're going to be kind of in between tomorrow. I can't rule out a shower, but it's still going to be a southerly wind, and then this little trough comes through uh, as we head into late in the day. So maybe a, a couple of scattered showers. Temperatures tomorrow make it into the 50s, well into the 50s, before that cold front changes things up by the time we get to the weekend. And you can see that reflected here. So 58 tomorrow, and then we drop into the 40s and 30s by the time we get into Sunday. And that's going to be cold enough, unseasonably cold air coming over the lakes. So we're going to have some lake effect snow developing Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday, and there will be localized accumulations, uh, especially in the lake belts. Could be a uh, fluffy two, three inches. Jet pinpoint for the lake shore then for your day tomorrow. Maybe a shower, skies brighten, 55 to 59, south of I-90, breezy, mild with brightening, highs well into the 50s, and for the Chautauqua Allegheny region, partly sunny, maybe a scattered shower, 51 to 55. So enjoy tomorrow. Chillier Friday, breezy, spotty chance, 43. Chillier still as we head into the weekend. Rain and wet snow showers Saturday, 41. Lake effect snow showers Sunday, 34. Unseasonably chilly, still breezy on Monday. A few lake flurries, 33. Partly sunny, kind of a breather Tuesday, 38 before another storm system on Wednesday with some rain and wet snow in the afternoon. Your Erie.com, click on weather, updated forecasts there into the weather tab.